What we're going to start with is a fun experiment that lets you model digestion in the classroom. Now the children really love this because it's lovely and messy and a little bit gross. For this experiment, you will need some orange juice to represent the acid in the stomach, some water to represent saliva, cream crackers and a banana for food, a metal tray to represent the body, plastic cups and a paper cup with a hole in the bottom, a sealable plastic bag to represent the stomach, one leg from a pair of tights to represent the small intestine, and a pair of scissors. First we put the crackers and the banana into the bag, which is our stomach demonstrating the swallowing process. Then we add the orange juice, which is the acid in our stomach, and the water, which is the saliva. We're going to squash it up, mimicking the action of the stomach walls squashing our food together. It will take a couple of minutes to get a good consistency. Next, we'll transfer the food into the small intestine, the tights. The children can do this in pairs, but if you're practicing on your own, you can cut the bottom off a plastic cup and use it as a funnel. Cut a corner of the bag and pour the food into the intestine. As you squeeze the food through, all the nutrients that we need for growth and energy will flow into the tray, which represents the body. The things the body can't digest will be left in the tights. When the waste has solidified, transfer it into a paper cup with a hole in the bottom, which represents the large intestine. Use another plastic cup to push the waste through the hole. This mimics the act of going to the toilet. Squash the food together, squeeze it into the small intestine, Push through the paper cup, mimicking the act of going to the toilet. <laughs> 